We are back at it with some more MX bikes and we are on the CGI facility created by the boy Fat Muppet. And if you guys didn't know, he has created two of the most legendary tracks in MX bikes. So CGI facility is on the MX bike shop. This track features 40 gates, uh, 40 pits, free ride area. There's a couple freestyle jumps um, and several transfers. I've actually already tried some of them. I'm so bad at freestyle. I am so, so bad at freestyle. So CGI facility is located in the hills of Edgefield, South Carolina. It is owned and operated by Chad Costos. I'm pretty sure that's how you uh, pronounce that. Um, he basically recreated his national caliber motocross track on the property. Uh, while it's not a full replica, most of the stable jumps are present with a few added sections. Uh, I've been riding on the track for the last like 10, 15 minutes, and I actually think it's a really good motocross track. I'm not going to lie. And if you guys didn't know, Fat Muppet has created some legendary tracks. So he has created the Indy track map, which I thought was really, really good. We did a YouTube video on that. Um, he has created the Red Bud 2000, Muppet Land, which is an insane compound. And then he's created the most two legendary tracks in the game, Walnut and Farm 14. I'm pretty sure every single person, maybe not in the last like six, eight months, probably, but every other person that started playing this game last year has definitely played Farm 14 or Walnut. These are the most two legendary tracks. When you guys say like Farm 14 or Walnut, I know exactly what it is, you know, like that everybody should know what these tracks are. I also want to do a video on Rad Trace facility. I was watching the YouTube video on this one. Outdoor track looks insane. It looks really, really good. So um, I already bought it. And we're going to try it in one of the videos coming up for MX Bikes. So be on the lookout for that. I think this one is going to be a really, really good compound. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love on the Sledders video yesterday, as well as the World Rally Car video from the other day, as well as just like every other video that we post, man. It's crazy uh, the amount of support that we've had recently in the past like month or two. So I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see more MX Bikes videos, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the sub button. We're close to 14,000. So make sure you guys hit the sub button. And once again, man, I just really do appreciate the love. Shout out to the boy's skills, man. He dropped a preview video for this track. And I had no idea Fat Muppet was dropping another track. Uh, I don't think Fat Muppet's dropped a track since the Indianapolis track. That was like last year sometime. So I definitely had to check this one out. He's only created awesome tracks in the past. So, I mean, think about it. Farm 14 is a freaking classic. Walnut is a freaking classic. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, one of my most viewed clips ever is on Walnut. That was like an Alta clip. <laughs> um yeah so he's only created some awesome tracks for the pa in the past awesome pub tracks i should say like really really good public tracks that everybody like tends to ride and i'm pretty sure if, I, I don't know about now as so many tracks have been released recently um but they used to be played non-stop uh, i don't know as much now but uh, literally you would have you would see a lobby just every single day on one of those two tracks um which is super super sick this track right here actually reminds me a lot of farm 14 um kind of like an updated version of it farm 14 is nice and flowy this one very very similar dude um i love the layout of this how it's like off camber i know it's like a replica it's some like a semi replica so i i just feel like this track would be so sick to ride in real life and i think fat muppet actually did a really really good job like putting it to uh, mx bikes making it into mx bikes i think he did a really good job so as this video is dropping probably like an hour later we're gonna have motocross designations I'm, I'm pretty sure it starts at two two o'clock. I gotta double check that honestly because I'm part of the race. As you guys know from our last bikes video, I talked about qualifying eighth overall, and I'm excited for it. I haven't really practiced. I, I practiced a few days here and there, but I haven't really uh, just put the time in. So I'm gonna struggle a bit. Uh, I'm definitely gonna struggle a bit, but it's gonna be fun. Even though we're kind of probably struggle a lot, I'm still like super excited to see what we can do. Um, I was playing a little bit last night on Unadilla, the TFC Unadilla from this year. I wasn't doing too bad. Uh, I definitely still have like the last lap woes. I'll tell you that because there's like a single lap left. And yeah, I crashed like three times uh, in like the public race. Uh, but no, it felt good to get some gate drops in. I really haven't done a gate drop um, since the motocross designations. And before that, it was like three weeks in Kazi stream. So it felt good to get like at least a few public races in and probably we'll get some more today, uh, at least tonight when I'm recording as well as probably a little bit before the race on Saturday, right? Or I guess today when you guys are like watching this. Honestly, I'm kind of uh, afraid of what's going to happen with France. I've been practicing a little bit and I was struggling, as I mentioned, like before on that track. We did finally beat our time, though. Like I said, we would we definitely finally beat that, which is good. But I don't know how well and consistent we're going to be able to ride that place, dude. The hills... Dude, it is very, very tough. I know he's making an updated version. I, I honestly hope 
that he removes like the like on france there's like inside lines and then there's like a barricade of dirt like right next to the inside line and i hope he kind of like pushes that over a little bit more i feel like sometimes when you're coming in a little bit too hot uh you can just like accidentally hit it and then you crash or if you hit that inside corner a little bit too like leaned over your bars grab that inside line and then you crash um so i'm hoping that he kind of pushes that a little bit away if you guys know what i'm talking about you guys would understand um i'll definitely probably show you guys when we do like a like a recap video on it i'm gonna record the races it's two 30 minute motos i'm gonna see what we can use as like clips and stuff and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna probably make a like recap video maybe i'll use some of that footage from the race in the recap video um like maybe like a talk over video or maybe just use like part of like just tiny clips and here talk about like certain things that i liked or didn't like and show examples per se um I, I haven't figured that part out yet overall i'm just honestly excited uh i'm hoping that we do good for team mexico you know i um I'm, i got big faith in ivan as well as mr clean man they're gonna dominate their classes i already know it so i'm definitely excited about that i'm also excited to just watch those boys and like uh cheer them on too um i think it's gonna be awesome i believe navo is streaming it so i'll make sure to put his link and everything in the description below so you guys can check out the stream that's the boy right there navo is a boy he's been he's been streaming like literally everything for bikes dude i feel like all aerial races he did all world supercross races um he's also doing the motocross designations i'm pretty sure he's also doing um like the land event i don't know if he's going to the land event i don't think he is but he was streaming the races beforehand uh like qualifiers so i mean he's been he's been grinding so definitely check out his stream for the races i'll make sure i have everything in the description below we also got challenged to do a zero percent lean for mx bikes and we're going to do that in the recap video so be on the lookout for that i think that one's going to be more of a struggle bus than the 100 for sure uh the 100 wasn't actually that bad so the zero though might be that might be very very ugly so be on the lookout for that shout out to the boy adam he recommended me doing that so and i'm pretty sure everybody here that watches my video has played fortnite before and og fortnite is officially back um as if, if you guys are watching this leave a comment have you guys played it yet or not i'm probably gonna play it right probably after i edit my video with the boy mix um but man i haven't played i played fortnite here and there just occasionally with like the new seasons and stuff like that but OG Fortnite, man, dude, like the old map season one, back when I played on Xbox, man, I didn't even have a PC to play on, dude. I was playing on Xbox with the boys straight after work, just grinding. Dude, those were the days, bro. Like that was literally the days. I don't even know if you guys remember like Fortnite Fridays, bro. Uh, like the, I'm pretty sure it was drama alert Fortnite Fridays or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Dude, those went crazy with Tifu and Cloaksy and Ninja. That's where Cloaksy and Nin that's where Cloaksy and Tifu like literally got their like fame was Fortnite Fridays because they were so freaking good at the game. That that's just insane. I I hope they bring back something like an OG tournament or something like that. Uh, I think that would be really really sick. I know that the boy Mix was saying that there is going to be a tournament, but it's like uh, like Ninja's tournament where it's like no build, build, no build or something like that, and anybody can join. I'm more interested in people just like going crazy, like the most competitive 2v2s type of like kill race. Like that is more exciting to me than anything. Uh, I feel like Warzone did a really good job in Warzone 1 with that. And then Warzone like one got updated to Caldera and it was kind of boring. And then obviously Warzone 2, there's like no tournaments at all. But, um, but yeah, Fortnite, man, I'm definitely excited to give it a go. I don't know how much we'll play of it, honestly. Uh, probably play like a few games. I played last two nights ago. Honestly, I played like the other season or whatever. And it's just Fortnite. Like it literally it just feels like Fortnite. Like if you played the game back in the day, I feel like um, nothing really too much is different. You'll kind of probably get bored of it pretty quick. Um, at least that's how I felt. I played like three games and I was like, all right, I'm done. Uh, like, let me go watch TV or something, you know? It doesn't have that same like, what is the same excitement that it used to have so like i remember when ninja streamed with drake bro like i was laying in bed and i knew i had to get up early for work no dude i stayed up until they freaking like did some crazy thing you know like i stayed up to watch that that's how like og like fortnite was so popular um it, it was just crazy man a really good time back in the day especially when you're playing on like xbox you're not really playing against like crazy sweats you can actually do well 
And then you get on PC, dude, and you're just like, yeah, you got Tifu and Cloaksy going crazy, building like 90s out of their ass, you know? Um, I was never a good builder. I was just never a good builder. That's why I actually love the no builds. I think the no builds is pretty damn good in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are playing it. Let me know if you guys are excited for it. I'm, I don't know if I'm excited, but I'm definitely going to play it, give it a go, because it's OG Fortnite, man. That's like the first, almost like the first Battle Royale game that I played, besides like H1Z1, you know? Um, I knew it before freaking, it was like the, the Fortnite was zombies. It was like literally like a zombie, and then they added the Battle Royale game mode, and then that took off, you know? That's how old, like, the game is that I remember playing back on Xbox. Like, it's crazy. It's literally crazy how fast a game can blow up and how good the game is still going dude like i feel like fortnite like community is still one of the best um the game is still one of the best the devs are still one of the best uh so it's it's crazy to see where it's gone since like the og days and, like xbox days like i feel like 2017 2016 2017 something like that just crazy and shout out to fat muppet for dropping another fun track i'm really hoping that this gets picked up in the public scene uh and get like a lot of lobbies going on it i mean i really do hope that it does um, I really do think it's a fun, nice, flowy track that would be pretty damn good for, like, pubs. So, I, I'm hoping for the best on that. But thank you guys so much for the love, man. I really do appreciate it, man. We dropped a Sledders video yesterday, which is doing pretty good. We dropped a World Rally Car video, which is doing pretty decent. Um, like, seriously, there's everything that we post, man. I really do appreciate anybody watching uh, the community. I just really do appreciate that. But be on the lookout for tomorrow's video. We're going to do, like, a little recap on the Motocross Test Nations probably play france's track as well since it is going to be a newer track so be on the lookout for that thank you guys so much for the love on everything that we post man i really do appreciate it uh make sure you guys stay safe for the weekend have fun and i'm out peace